Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, Andrea here. I'm going to carry on con colouring in Hannah Lynn's uh, Fairy Tale Princesses and Storybook Darlings book. We're still working on Peter Pan and Wendy, or waiting for Peter Pan as it's called. You have to excuse me, I'm eating some galaxy counters at the moment as well. And you'll probably hear the baby in the corner because every time I start filming, she starts making a noise. As you can see from this blue bit here, I did start this video before and then had to stop, which I'm going to have to do again now, but I will be back. Okay, so let's try again. So I fed the baby, changed her, put her back down. Whether she'll stay down and sleep, I don't know. Whether she's going to kick off again anytime, I don't know. So I'm just going to do the sky now. As you can see, I did do the curtains. Like I said, I was. I did that off of camera. So we're just going to go in and do the sky. This is um, something I cannot pr pronounce. It's a blue. It's 9201247247 um, in the polychromos. It's it's a very dark blue for the sky. So I have actually bought a load of colouring books this month. Most of them I like the really cheap ones. There's a few Jade Summers in there, a couple of Creative Havens and a few other ones. So I will be actually doing a colouring book haul fairly shortly because there will come a time in the next few months where I won't be able to buy anything at all um, because I will be going on to no pay because I'm taking the full year of maternity entitlement off but some of that is at no pay so I won't get paid for that so you'll probably hear little baby noises from the corner but don't worry So one of the books I haven't ordered is I haven't ordered the Kirby Rosanna's book, not because I don't like it, I know there's been some controversy over it, um, over Phantom Morphia, and it's not because I, because of that, that I haven't bought it or ordered it, as I probably will order it. Um, I've always been intimidated by Kirby Rosanna's work, it's just far too detailed for me, I just wouldn't be able to do it. But I do think his art is absolutely amazing. So what I want to do is get Phantom Morphia first and then once I get used to the style, because these aren't as in-depth as the normal ones, then I will probably get the more in-depth ones. And there has been some controversy because it's not like, this book is not like the other books. It's single-sided, not double-page spreads. Um, there's not as much detail in it, there's not as many pages. Um, but according to, to Kirby, this is down to the publisher. It's nothing to do with him. This is not what he wanted. And I think that's, that's a shame. It's really, up, I think it's really upset him and he's not going to be doing any more colouring books after the next one, which would have been, had they done it the same way as they'd done the previous three, it would have been one big book. Um, so the second one, Geomorphia, that's out in October. Now, I have actually put that one on pre-order. I thought I will just get that one, but I will get Phantom Morphia. So. But yes, all those, the details really, really is intimidating to me. Oops, bless you. But because... There's not as much detail in this new one. I will give it a go. And once I've completed some pages on that, I might feel up to tackling one of the other Morphia books. I do think they are absolutely fantastic. The artwork is amazing. So I'm going to show you how I do my moon in a bit. So I really do like this book. It's really, really pretty. So I will be doing a completed pages video soon. I've managed to finish some of my whips. So what I'll do is I'll show you the whips I've still got and the pages I've actually completed. Because I managed to get, I think, four off of my whip list. 
this month which I'm really happy about so as well as other ones I completed um, previously so I haven't done a completed colouring pages since November I think it was or the beginning of December so this is going to be completed colouring pages November, uh, December through to the end of March uh, and then it really depends on how many I can get done as to when I will do uh, another one because obviously having a, a young baby I don't get as much time to colour as I used to I don't get as much time to read as I used to I am trying to those of you who watch my booktube videos knows, would know that last month I only read two books in February this month I'm already up to four and I'm on it's possible that I will finish another one today is the last day of, of March today um, it's possible I will finish another one taking it up to five so I am slowly getting back into the reading and I am listening to some audiobooks as well uh, sometimes at night when I'm feeding her just I talk to her even though I'm listening to an audiobook so I don't really pay much attention to the book but still counts right <laughs> So yeah, I mean, I have ordered quite a few books, but like I said, after, once I go down, my pay stops. I don't want to be ordering anything at all, and I'm making sure that I've got money in my account for when that happens. So it is Easter tomorrow. I'm hoping I'll get this up on the 31st of... The 31st of March? Is it 30 days of March? Today, Friday, it's Saturday. It's the 1st of March tomorrow. The 1st of April tomorrow, so it's... Easter, so happy Easter. If you're religious, I hope you have a great day. Uh, celebrating it. I'm not particularly religious, so for me, it's all about the chocolate. So I've been trying to catch up on my YouTube. I've got far too many channels. Um, not just colour tubers but obviously book tubers and photography tubers and then there's vloggers like Jordan and Adam the Woo and the Tim Tracker and sometimes I'll just sit and binge watch so for instance Adam the Woo I sat there and I've been watched most of his daily Woo videos but not his main Adam channel um, I will. I've started following a few urban explorers that have been posting videos because I do I am interested in that as well but who knows how long I'll stay subscribed to them because I tend to subscribe to people watch a few videos and then unsubscribe if I'm not so keen on their videos I don't stay, stay subscribed to all the colour tubers either. Some of them I do and some of them I don't. Some of them I'll watch for a while and then I think, oh, time to go. But there are a few I, I, I will stay subscribed to. For instance, Anne at A Colourful Life. Jen at Reading With Pugs because she does booktube and colour tube. Shalene, Sweet Nightingale. Dee Dee, I don't always watch Dee Dee's because hers are so long. But I do like watching them. Um, and there's a few others. Grace. Look at Grace's colouring corner. I know a lot of people live stream. I'm not going to live stream because I find that I don't watch live streams a lot. Occasionally I do but it, it really depends because a lot of the book the YouTubers or booktubers I watch are in America so if they're, they're live streaming it's usually like early evening there or but here it's like really late at night and I've got to sleep when I can so and obviously trying to get the baby into some sort of routine means I can't be staying up till one two o'clock in the morning watching things because she won't sleep if I'm, if she, if we're awake, I can listen to an audiobook, 
while holding her and it doesn't affect her she doesn't see it the, the phone is usually behind me so she doesn't see the light or I just sit there cuddling her until she drops off um, but uh, I'm just going to go and sort her because she's starting to make a noise again and I think Paul's going to be back in a minute so I can hear him moving around so it's going to take me day uh, ages to finish doing this one I probably won't even get to finish it today at this rate which is a shame I wanted to get a video up it's very hard to do videos when Paul's home But what I might do is take it upstairs and carry on with this upstairs if necessary. I've done that before. So we're using the polychromos on this one. So I'll show you how I do my moons in a bit. But I'm just gonna stop there for a second okay so I've now relocated to another room and Paul is with the baby so he's gonna have some father father daughter time so I can have a break and do some coloring which I don't get to do a lot of these days so hope this angles okay and we were work we are working on the moon um, so I'm just gonna oops Sort this out, it won't be a sec. That's it, done. Right. So for the moon, I always use like an ivory or a cream pencil. So it's not white, it's off-white. So I'm just gonna have a look. I think I use the cream from the polychromos, which is this one. It looks yellow, the, the uh, actual uh lost my sharpener oh there it is uh barrel but it's cream so i'm just going to color in the moon now so obviously this is going to be quite light you're not really going to see any of this i don't think Oh, uh, you can a bit. The problem I got with this is I'm actually now sitting in the bedroom on the bed, which was obviously a lot lower than the dinner table, which is where I was before. So with this, I'm literally just pressing this down hard. So you get a creamy colour on the moon. As you can see, it's just gone over his his leg. So I'm just gonna get my Derwent eraser and <laughs> take that off. We don't want that. So it's very hard for me to get the height right on the tripod when I move from the table to somewhere else. It's very easy for me to get it right on the table difficult anywhere else but it's not too bad so I'll probably go over the moon again later much like I did with the sky and obviously I did the green curtain off camera but I'm just gonna it's quite a big moon normally when you do moons, they're a lot smaller. And uh, I don't know if you're seeing me all colouring, so I'm trying to keep my head out of the frame. It's just a bit difficult because it's so much lower than normal. Now, what I like to do with the, the moon is moons always have a slight haze, much like the sun does. So I always take my eraser and just go over. <laughs> over at the edge like that 
It doesn't have to be too tidy because it's moon hay, so it wouldn't necessarily be. Like that. So you're leaving some of the blue in, but not all of it. And the reason I'm playing with this is because the end's got really small. I'm just trying to uh, get the eraser to a size where we can still use it. Set. <laughs> So you've still got the blue sky there, but you've also got the white showing through, so it looks a little bit like the haze from the moon. Now, obviously we've got the very thick black line, so what I'm going to do now is go over all of that with this cream. Okay, so it's not going to take the line out, sadly. I think the moon is a bit... Sadly, the moon... Line is a bit thick, it could have been a bit thinner. We just go over the haze with the cream. It just looks like a bit of haziness on the moon. It's not brilliant, but could have probably been a bit bigger actually, but. So, I am currently reading a book called The Battered Body Beneath the Flagstones and Other Victorian Scandals by Michelle Morgan. I actually received a copy from uh, the author, Michelle, her publicist, because I've known Michelle for years. We were old friends. So, and it's fascinating fascinatingly gory stuff some of it um so it's all about different murders and scandals not necessarily the well-known ones so for instance although there is a jack the ripper story and there isn't a huge amount on jack the ripper but uh there are other stories um from around the world so it's really good and I can hear the baby baby uh, kicking off. She tends not to like it when I'm not in the room. Now, some people have said that th this bit that we discussed in a previous video is her arm, but I guess it could be part of her sleeve, I guess. So um, I think we're going to have this colour. I'm just going to piece of paper to... Yes, that's the one we're going to use for her nightdress. I think, or part of it anyway. That one, and a slightly darker one. I'm just going to do it. So I can hear the baby moaning. Oh, off she goes. I don't know what it is now. It may be something as simple as she's woken up and I'm not there. So, I've got... Gosh, this is light cobalt turquoise, and I'm just gonna do this on her little the little trim here. Like that, and a little bit around the neck. Although we've only got one end of that, we'll do it on. No, we won't do it on that. We'll do it on her her ribbon. Her hair ribbon can be that colour as well. So it's a very light turquoise, and I'm not. This isn't very much pressure, to be honest. For this, it's not, it's not a lot of pressure. It's quite. It's a medium, I'd say. She is not happy.
Poor Daddy. <laughs> I will go and see if she's alright in a second. So that was that one. That one goes in there. I'm just gonna go across the middle so that there's a little bit of different there and we're just gonna lightly colour in her Her top with this darker blue and this one is light pithalo blue it's a nice color anyway oh dear so I'm just gonna Looks like Daddy sorted out whatever the problem was. She probably just wanted a cuddle. But if she yeah, kicks off again in a minute, I'll have to go down and sort her out, see what's going on. I need to say that when I came up, she was actually asleep. So it's not like... So yes, I'm reading The Battered Body Beneath the Flagstones and Other Victorian Scandals, which is great. I'm also reading a photo book. There's a lot of text in it, but there's also a lot of fantastic images. Um, I think I've mentioned it before, The Wonderful World of Albert Kahn. I'm still reading that, which is about the autochrome process, which is a colour photography process that used potatoes as part of the dye process. Oh. I don't know why it is these heroines in these books wear blue. Miranda and Wendy is wearing blue. Alice in Wonderland always wears blue. Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz wears blue and uh, blue check gingham. I'm just wondering why. Do a bit more on that. So this is not going to be a very long video again, I'm afraid. Just simply because I'm gonna to have to go and sort her out. And usually when I go down to do something with her and sort her out, it takes me about an hour. So if I want this up today, I'm not gonna have time to keep doing it, to keep coming back up and down. So. But Daddy's got her and she seems to be okay. She might be just... She's only just been fed so she shouldn't, I say she shouldn't, be hungry. That doesn't mean to say that she's not going to kick off for food at some point shortly. Right. I'm just going to go and see what's going on downstairs. I, I can't leave it any longer. Paul says I should, I should just leave him to it, but I kind of worry about what's going on with her. I know he's fine, I know he's perfectly capable, but she is not happy about something. I hope she doesn't want changing again. Oh dear. She might do. Right, I'm, I'll go and check to see what's going on and I'll be back in a bit. Okay, so Daddy is feeding Peanut. Hopefully she'll be all right. She does seem to want to eat a hell of a lot at the moment and if she knows I'm around, she doesn't like it if I'm not there with her immediately. So basically, I, I went downstairs to change her. Paul went and made a bottle for her. And then, uh, while we were waiting for it to cool down, I, I just held her and she was quiet. And she sat there, she just lay there with her eyes shut, quite happily in my arms. 
every now and again she would make a little squeak but not like crying so she just seems to want me all the time and is but if I'm for instance in the week if I go shopping I leave her at my mum and dad's and I leave the house and she's fine you know they might have to feed and change her but she doesn't cry looking for me it just seems to be she knows I'm in the house somewhere but she's not I'm not there and she can't see me or I'm not holding her and she does not like it So we will do this blue as, so as part of her sleeve. I don't know whether it is or not. It is now. <laughs> so I just said to Paul, come and get me if uh, if you pair need me. I'm hoping that they won't. And that she'll, she'll settle down for him. But uh, he's feeding her now, so. He doesn't often get a chance to feed her, I normally do that, but he's having a go today. So yeah, still reading the wonderful world of Albert Khan. Um, which is fascinating, just absolutely fascinating. You are in for a dark blue now, again. I like, I do like these panelling pictures. I like them quite a lot actually. I said, well, just, just ring me, just call me down if she needs me. But uh, sounds good at the moment. All sounds very good. So, so yeah, like I said, I've bought a load, a load of comb books lately. It's because it was payday. Um, I always buy stuff around payday. I can hear him talking to her, which is good. Um, and then I might buy towards the end of the month if there's any money left, or a little bit of money left, then I might buy a bit more. So yeah, I am thinking about getting uh, Phantom Morphia. I've ordered Geomorphia. There are so many books I want. It's ridiculous how many books are out there. Like the new Maria Troll book, Night, um, Nightfall. Like I said, I got Twilight Garden because Paul bought it for my birthday last year. And to be fair, he does get me gathering books for my birthday. Um, and things like that. He does say, where are we going to put them all? And I'm like, it's okay, there's plenty of space. I said, I've got a shelf and it's not even nowhere near full. And he's like, oh, all right then. Um, but, yeah, I know there's plenty of space on it. And I've got about 80, well, I'd say just, just shy of 100 now. It's getting very close to the 100 mark. Because I have been, I have bought more than 10 recently, as you will see when I do a haul shortly. And, uh. I bought some supplies, not many because I've got plenty. The next lot of supplies I'll be will be uh, to replace pencils that are getting really short on my Derwent Colour Softs and my Prisma Colours. There are a few places in the UK that do stock them, open stock, other than Amazon. 
so I will make a list of the ones I need and see about getting those ordered towards the end of this month. I need to, I've got a roll of film that I need to send off to be developed because although I do most of my developing is a slide film and I'm not bothering with that. Slide film's more complicated. A lot of people do it and say it's really easy. I just don't fancy it. I think I'll just send it off to Nick and Trick and <laughs> and Danny and Ken and they'll, they can do it for me. Yeah, if it's just normal black and white or colour film, I don't mind doing it, but slide film, yeah, I'd rather send it off to the lads down at Nick and Trick. Get Nick and Trick to do it. And then hopefully get them back and they'll be all right. I've never shot 120 slide film before. I have shot 35mm um, and uh, every time not had a problem with it but 120 is slightly different because my 120 camera does not have a um, a light meter. So because of that I have to use an external light meter and hope that it works alright. Uh, what kind of lips shall we give her? Shall we use a deep flesh? This pink one. This is dark flesh for her lips I think. Yeah. Yeah. So she's looking rather lovely, isn't she? I'll start panicking because they, it's quiet downstairs and I'll start worrying about why it's so quiet. Uh, so I can't win really. It's either too noisy and she's kicking off and I'm, what's going on? Or too quiet and I'm like, what's wrong with her? This paper here to have a look at it. Yeah. yeah. That's very clever. I need to drop shavings all over the bedspread. Hmm. I'm going to be changing it tomorrow. So. This is burnt sienna. So I do, do wonder what's going on downstairs. I know everything's okay because they would eat soon, Paul would soon call me down if there was a problem. She's obviously quite happy being fed by daddy which is a good thing. Because I do it all, all through the night and it's good for him to bond with her like this. And it's good for me to have a little break. Because I am getting a very bad headache with the amount she's, she, when she cries, she's got such a high pitched cry. And it's very loud that I, um, excuse me, I'm a bit, kind of a bit of a headache. So they're not sleeping very much, isn't helping. Uh, 
just sometimes need a break. And this is my way of having a little break, just making a quick video with you guys, having a quick chat. Sometimes she's in the room with me and I have to stop and start like I did today, but I don't mind because it is what it is. She's got to take priority over everything. So it's just all right. It's just different today because her daddy's home and he can uh, look after her just a little bit. while I do some of this. I mean, to be fair, I've, I've been with him most of the day and, and Paul's, he's been out, he's gone down the shops and he's, um, what's this color? Brown ochre, um, gone for a quick walk. So he's had some time to himself as well. And uh, we'll have some time together on Monday, hopefully. We were gonna go out today, but she was very restless last night, so I didn't really get much sleep. So it wasn't very nice for me. She's, uh, she wouldn't go to sleep and I had to hold her for a bit. And she, Eventually she went to sleep on my chest and that was fine because I then when she went to sleep just put it down into a Moses basket and she was fine it's just to get her to get that to that point was the hard part. But she's okay. She's a good girl. Obviously, as you can tell, she's very quiet at the moment. I missed a bit there with that. Uh, um, I just think. So. She certainly does let you know if something's wrong and she needs something, which is good. Looks all right. We are getting there with her now with uh, Wendy. Wendy's actually done. It's the rest of the the room. Let's have a look. This one, I think. Maybe not. Maybe this one. Oops. Pencils are running away. I need to get case these polychromos. So yeah, um, I need to get a case for these because at the moment I've still got them in the tin which is fine but when they're not on a completely flat surface, obviously at the moment we're on the bed, it's not a completely flat surface so it's um, if I knock one they just roll, it rolls out so this is madder. I just wonder who comes up with some of the colour names for pencils. Not so much the ones that have proper names like cobalt blue or turquoise or lemon yellow because they're real colours but some of them colour names are odd. The Black Widow Scorpions and Cobras have odd names like pig's ear and things like that. Colours that aren't really colours you know <laughs> but they're kind of cute. 
So I'm going to do this part of the quilt in red and then the little dots and the surround in a yellow. So this is going to take a little while. But hopefully... Oh, I can hear it making a noise. One more session after this and we'll finish this and we can move on to a delicious dessert. So I am actually colouring in a picture in my Jade Summer Easter book at the moment, so I'll be doing that today. I'll try and finish it today and then do another one, if I can find one I want to do. Because it's Easter tomorrow, and then I'll put Easter Monday, I could do one. Then after that it'll be going away till next Easter, much like all the Christmas books have gone away until next Christmas. And so on. So. Next year I hope to get a uh, some um, Valentine's Day ones, St Patrick's Day ones and so on. Which I didn't get this year for whatever reason. But uh, obviously next year I'll be back at work so. Although it won't be full time. I should be able to. get one or two of those books. All right, she's starting again. This is what she's like. And he'll try and keep her calm because he wants me to have a rest and it doesn't work though. <laughs> I can hear him talking to her, it's so cute. Yep, she's gone quiet, so whatever he's doing is working. She does like sticking her tongue out. She likes playing that game. And of course, she started smiling now properly. She's eight weeks old and every now and again, you get this beautiful smile off her and it's like, oh, it melts your heart. It's so sweet. I was playing with it yesterday. And uh, this is a silly game. And she was just giving me big grins and it's so nice to see her smile. The lovely little girl. She's very cuddly. She does like to be cuddly. She likes to be held. Because like they say, you can't hold a baby too much. Some people say you can spoil a baby. You can't spoil a baby. You remember that for the, for the first nine months of life that, per that little baby was inside me and then suddenly she, they're thrust out into this big cold world and it's noisy and bright whereas before it was dark and pretty quiet and yeah I, I do feel they, that they it's a bit of a shock for them I would imagine so what we'll do is we'll put some glowing lights on in here so as you can see I, I don't pick an area and work one whole area like the whole of the sky and the, the thing and all the curtains because the curtains aren't finished or the bedspread or her I, do, I just jump around the page doing whatever I feel like colouring I don't plan out colour schemes I do did know I wanted this to be green and uh, red and yellow but other than that there is no plan I just colour it and hope for the best but it's looking quite good actually, I'm enjoying this one. I must admit, I do like the Hanalyn books, I will be getting some more. I don't have them all, but I do like them. Even some of the cutesy books are growing on me. There are some that I'm not going to buy, and it's not necessarily the cutesy ones, but there's certain styles of books I won't buy. So for instance, I'm not really into pop manga or anime, it's just not, it's not my kind of thing. I've never, you know, I'm just not into it. Again, it might change in the future as, as I colour more and find more to colour. I might change. I never used to like doing people. Now I love them. I was all about flowers. I never used to like mandalas, but even they are growing on me now. If I, you know, if I just want something to colour that's not, you know, I can sit there with a felt pen and just pff, 
put colour down, it's great. They're still not the biggest thing I like to do, the best thing I like to do. But yeah, I like I like doing flowers, but I'm not brilliant at them. Animals, I'm still not that very good. I'm not very good at them, so that's something to uh, do. So as you can see, this is taking rather like a long time, and that red looks totally different on the camera than it does actually on the page. It's very interesting the way that the camera changes the uh, the way it's lit. I will probably just finish off these squares and then stop. So we have done quite a bit because we've done the moon and the sky, apart from the stars and the houses. We've done her eyes and her dress and her hair bow and we've done a bit more with bedspread. So yeah, I'll finish these off so that I don't have to worry about which red it is. And then next time we'll do the yellow bits. And we'll, like I said, we'll go with some orangey colours. Um, yeah, I know which one for the the lights in the, the buildings in, on the, the London, I assume it's supposed to be a London skyline. So. I love watching YouTubers that do, I love watching colour hauls, colouring book hauls, because I like to see what colouring books are out there because although I may never buy half these colouring books, like a lot of the Japan, Japanese, Korean, Chinese ones, they're lovely books, but I just don't want to spend that kind of money. On it, I'm not. It, I, I mean, I want Clara Markova's books, but they are just so expensive. You know, they've not been properly released in the UK. And I was looking, I was looking at some books on Etsy that are really nice, and then you're paying like eight quid for a book, and then if it's from the states, it's from like twenty quid for postage. It's like, nah, it's not worth it. I mean, if it's in the UK and it's eight quid for a book and three quid postage, I don't have a problem with that. Not at all. I mean, yeah, I could, on a lot of the Etsy stuff, to get a download. <sighs> I have got quite a few downloaded pages and I hardly ever colour them. I always colour in the books. I don't know why. I don't know what that the reasoning for that is, but for some reason I... I don't. I do use them. I have got some. I've got a set of Hannah Lynn's. I've got some Selena Fennec. I've got Kawaii Girls by Jade Summer was is a digital download, and I do use that usually when I'm trying out new pencils or stuff like that. I usually do one. I'm thinking of doing that with. I'm gonna do, do um, like I did with the uh, what they call the Erodotons where I did a whole picture just using the Eroge tones on one of the Kawaii Girls so you could see that you can get a flesh colour, very pale flesh colour, but you can get it by layering. I will do that with um, my other pencils as well. So I'll do it with the Marco Ruffins, the Faber-Castell Classics, the Derwent Colour Soft, the, the Feelers. And I'll, I tend to use those colouring pages for, for that sort of stuff. And I've got loads of them. One of the books I've I've got in my kind of my haul is a mandala book, and there's a free digital download of another book with it. So I do want to go and download that. And of course, with the Jade Summer ones, you get them all again. Um, a you get two copies, but you also get a free digital download as well. Now I've never done the digital download. The re reason being is that there's two copies in each book anyway. But I'm thinking what I will do is I will download them digitally, and then when I'm doing a a test page. I'm not reliant just on Kawaii Girls. I can use Delicious Desserts or because there is a Delicious Desserts Jade Summer One or something Desserts or there's um, Island Paradise or Under the Sea and I can download one and say right, I'm going to do that. So my battery's about to run out so I think we'll call it a day there. I will finish off these little squares and then I will be back fairly shortly with another video. So I hope you've enjoyed this one. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe and I will see you in part three when hopefully we will finish off the rest of this book. Thanks then. Bye.